What's up, girl? <gasps> You're lying. She said that? She said that? You're kidding. Who did? You're kidding right now. Who did? She told you that? <gasps> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. Oh, no, no she didn't. She better not <gasps> have. She did not tell her that. What? Oh, Are no. you okay? Is she okay? Tell me. Tell us. <gasps> Ruby, okay. Tell me. Tell me what's going she, on. She, no, I know. Girl! No, girl. She said that too? No! No, she did not. No, Where, she didn't. Should we go over there? Where? Tell me. Oh! Give me how? Speaker, speaker. How? Speaker. How? No, how? My, my dad, he, he died 9-11. Uh, I was told I had to explain that before I do these jokes because some people don't know. Uh, when your dad dies uh, and he works for like the state or the government or whatever, I don't know, he's a fireman, whatever that is, sometimes you, your family gets like a little bit of money. Not a lot of money, a little bit. So we got a little bit of money and I remember my mom, you know, to make me and my sister feel better, uh, she, she wanted to get us a pool. And uh, kid, I was like seven when my dad died, so like... Kids don't understand that shit. They don't, they don't know what's going on, right? So I remember I got the pool and kids at school would be like, yo, you're so lucky, man. You're rich. You have a pool, you know? And I'd be like, yeah, luckily I have a pool that I fill up with tears every summer. Because that's how you know you're rich, when you can swim in your own sadness. Thank God Osama bin Laden didn't miss his alarm clock. You know why? I wouldn't have a fucking pool! I'm sorry, please come over later. Yeah, I appreciate it. Obsessed with the serial killer shit. Oh, because the guy's hot. Ted Bundy. This is good that you said that. I'm really glad you brought up Ted Bundy because I asked my girl to play a uh, serial killer thing and we watched two together. The first one we watched, I turned off because it was the female serial killer, Eileen Warnos. You know her? She killed three people, which is like some affirmative action bullshit. Uh, three people. You're not a serial killer. That's a DUI, sweetheart. Give it a rest. Okay? It's a recall on broccoli. Three people. <laughs> Mother Teresa killed more than three people, okay? Sit down. <laughs> Next one she put on was Ted Bundy. And he's the GOAT. <laughs> he's the GOAT. He's the greatest serial killer of all time. It's undeniable. And I'll tell you why. It's not because he killed 50 women. That's easy. Anybody could do that. That's... <laughs> I could kill 50 women with a pair of Lululemon pants. That's light work. Just... Hey, they're giving out free Lulus in the alley. Yeah, yeah. Just fuck it. I play whack a Megan for 30 minutes. I got 50 bodies. That's light. That's light. That's light. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The reason he's so prolific is because he killed 50 women driving a tan Volkswagen Beetle. I'm going to say that again because that is impressive. He killed 50 women driving a tan Volkswagen Beetle, okay? Some of y'all drive Teslas, can't get no pussy, dorks. The doors open by themselves, never a woman's legs, huh, you losers? <laughs> My car is electric, so is your fleshlight virgin. Shut the fuck up about it. I'm watching this documentary, I'm like, yo, thank God this motherfucker didn't drive a Porsche, bro. We might not have any women left in America if he was driving a Porsche. A Porsche? Are you kidding me? Only reason I finished the documentary is because I need to know the pickup line he was using to get these women into a tan Volkswagen Beetle. That's a valuable line. I might have a son one day, and I'm going to give him that shit instead of a car. Unwritten, by the way, could be top 50 all-time songs I think I've ever heard. I would need to hear it again. Sing it, babe. Staring at, at the, the blank page <laughs> before you Looking up a dirty Is that the right song? window Yes, that's Release it Release your inhibition Feel the rain on your skin That shit is so hard It's the basement door It's with Joe and it's with Frank <laughs> It goes really hard Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks to you Look to the patrons Now I have some income <laughs> And I greeted you with open arms. Yeah. Under the sunlight. Welcome to this place. I'll show you where it's hang. With arms wide open.
don't know the second verse of the chorus. We peaked there. Let's yeah, just, let, let's not we even try it again. Uh, nailed that. Because I don't know any black people that have ever adopted white children. Should Madonna did it. I'm going to say it again. I don't know any black people that have adopted white children. What, what's wrong with what I said? I'm going to say it again. I don't know any black people that have adopted white children. Yeah, Madonna did it. Oh, you f- what, what, what have I said wrong? <laughs> I don't know any black people that have adopted white children. Hold on. Is this a riddle? What are you- t- what? Madonna! Madonna adopted a black kid. I don't know any black people that have adopted white children. What am I getting wrong, you f***ing idiot? Say it again. I don't know any black people that have adopted white children. Have I said something wrong, or are you just repeating it? What's going on? <laughs> no, you said something wrong. I said something wrong. Yeah. What's your answer to that? Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue had uh, black kids. No, she didn't. Madonna, then. What one is it? Yeah, Madonna did. She did? Yeah, but I don't know any black people that have adopted white children. What am I getting confused with? I don't get Madonna fucking white! Yeah. She adopted black kids. I don't know any black people that have adopted oh, white you don't know any children. Black Maybe I'll look at a few more questions. If you could direct a play, if you direct a play in theater, which if you, uh, if you were, if you, next question. <laughs> <laughs> You have three suspects in front of you, and you're about to pick which of those you think is a love trap. That person will immediately leave the house. Who do you think is a love trap? Shereen. How come when, when you f- refer to crazy girls, you never throw yourself in that category? I just feel like it's assumed and understood. That you're crazy? Yeah. <laughs> First of all, just so y'all know, I'm peeing, and you guys came in here because this is important. Nobody cares that you're peeing. <laughs> it's just to show the moms that you never get privacy as your kids get older. No. Just to show them that. Anyway, so back to the... You lay a finger on her, and I will vivisect your individual scrotums. She's real. She's got balls. Well, ovaries, actually. All right, you got a pair of steel ovaries. Thank you. Will you tell her about the clock and boom, chicka wow, wow, boom? No, no, it's wow, chicka wow, wow, boom, fuck wow, wow. It's not yeah. every day that a we woman get... has her fiance. Whoa, whoa, yes. hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We ain't doing that today. That's not what's happening. <laughs> get this off of me. I don't know how to get out of it. <laughs> Help me. Help me. I'll rip it if it doesn't come off easy. <laughs> what would you like to ask, Donna? Would you ever say there were days on set where I was, I don't know, a bitch? 100%. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you think I was a bitch because I cared about the project? Yep. Or because I'm just a straight up bitch? Mm, both. Wow. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Can I I'm go? Kidding. I, can, I can really <laughs> say whatever I want. No, uh, look, the directing, as you know, is the one of the hardest things in the world. <laughs> and, uh, and yes, <laughs> you have to be a bitch to be able to make a movie as good as you did. Being honest. Okay. Do you love me? I love you so much. More honesty. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank Ooh, you. Ooh, I got a more honesty. What movie. was it like uh, working with uh, your fiance while they're directing a film? It's their first film, right? It's, it's yes, very very first film that she directed. Um, creating is our like love language. Like we really just enjoy that. I know yeah. I didn't have any fear going into like making a movie with somebody that you're you know tr- you know there's the love of your life, but like it. Is <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> let's just go to let's just show a clip. <laughs> let's just show a clip. What was the name of my imaginary friend growing up? <laughs> 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 
can you give? Can you give? Um, I'm just gonna eat you, away. I mean, can I don't you really need give help. me like what do they look like, and then I can um, maybe try. It was a boy. Okay. Was his name Jeff? <laughs> Oh, it's no. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> you regretted that immediately. You were like, yeah, as soon as it left your mouth, <laughs> like, you were like, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> I apologize. Um, mm -hmm. It was a boy, what was he wearing? What? <laughs> they want me, what? It was a boy, what was he wearing? Magic Mike was loosely based on my experience as a male dancer, but what was my stage name? I don't know, but can I make one up for you? Please, please, God, make one I, up for I, you. It's better than what thing, it is. The first thing that came to mind was like the panther. <laughs> Never mind. Don't make Welcome one up for me. Never mind. Do not the make panther. one up for me. Chan Crawford. Oh no. I prefer the panther. The panther. I totally is thought the you were well. used to leave a party early. I don't like it here. I want to leave. <laughs> Funny because it's worked. It's, it's, it's exactly no. what she said. Uh, She's just I like this. I don't like it anymore. I'm gonna go. This one and I are like having a real moment. It would really be interesting to like be this tiny and just someone could just pick you up and just do whatever they want. That's how I. That's like, <laughs> that's what my life is like. That's how I landed you. I know. Like I was like, you're not oh, going. You were anywhere. like, I wish someone would do that to me. I was like, you do that. <laughs>